Hi, this is Roman Tube. Today on Way of the Hunter, we're going on a five star whitetail hunt. Now, I've been after mule deer all week. I've got an epic video coming up later in the week. Um, I've been trying to collect all the new racks and five star mule deers, and I must say, the last few days has been amazing hunting at Nez Pierce Valley for mule deer and whitetail. Now, I spotted this whitetail where we're just going to go now. And he was a four star last time I've seen him, so I'm hoping he's a five star today. Now, when we're dodging these badges, <laughs> we'll get over to look where he is. But I've also got mule deer on my right, mule deer on my left, mule deer in front of us, and whitetail. So we've got to watch what we're doing. I did have a four star fox as well, right in front of me, that I was on about in the mule deer video. He got to four star as well, but he died at four star. I was hoping he'd make a five star, but he didn't quite make it. So the last few days has been nothing but trophies and like I say I've got an epic video in the making and hopefully we've got one today with this whitetail. Now I've not got a five star whitetail, it's been one of my most wanted trophy animals since I started Way of the Hunter but if you've watched my videos before, if you haven't, hello, welcome to the Ron McTube uh, YouTube show <laughs> for Way of the Hunter. Um, but, uh, if you've watched it before, you know I normally just go roaming round. Well, now I'm starting to focus more on the trophy animals. So we're going to start going after trophy animals for all different species. So if you want to see me going after any of them, drop them in the comments and I'll try and make that happen. Now, if you've seen my previous video, if you haven't, check it out. I was after some of the new racks for the mule deer. I've been continuing with that this week, but check that video out for already but i had a five star over on the right i had a four star on my left i had a four star in front of us i had a four star fox below me i've got a four star or five star white tail in front of me like i said this week has been absolutely epic for hunting on where the hunter and the great thing about knowing that you've got a big trophy animal or potentially big trophy animal in where the hunter in a group is you don't know the next day you visit it might not be there and it's kind of scary exciting you don't know what to think but you don't know until you look at that group if that animal is still there so that's what we're doing today with a white tail he was four star when i last seen him it's been a few days since i've seen him so i'm hoping fingers crossed he makes five stars and this is genuinely the very first time we're going to see if he's a four or five star still um the mule deer i've been hammering the five stars so i've got like I said, an epic video to show you later in the week. And uh, I've been collecting all the five star racks to show you what they look like, some of the different ones. And uh, I'm really enjoying it because Mule Deer are one of my favorites, Whitetail are. Um, but I've never had a five star Whitetail Deer in Way the Hunter. I've had four stars, but I've not had a five star. Now we've got to be really careful because about 200 meters away on my right, we've got Mule Deers. That's why the mark is there, just so I know where I am. But sometimes they're in slightly different places and they do roam about. As you can see, when they're feeding, they still move. So I've got a rough marker of where they are. But the white tail can be with the mule deer, but it can also be to the left of them. So it just depends. They're not always in the same need zones each time, which is a cool thing about where the hunter. But it leads for a very interesting hunt. Like, they're going to be there. I'll, I'll set the time to that. You go there. Not there today. <laughs> There's the mule is. Where is the white tails? Please be a five star. Right, let's go and check the other location. So just over here through these bushes near the stand, sometimes there's a group of white tail, and I think they should be there. Oh, they're really close. Yes, yes, he's made a five star. Right. He's very grey, he's very silver, but he has made a five star. The only thing is, look at the location. That's not an ideal shot. And I think these are actually going to walk in front of me to the river. So we really need to decide, are we going to wait? And hopefully he just walks by like, if he, if he goes like that one on my left, we'll take a shot. If he does anything else, we'll probably wait it out. And see if they either turn round or if he goes to the river. 
But they are very close as you can see now and I don't want him to spook. The thing is now he's five star mature. He could be he could fast forward a day and he could be gone, so I don't want to risk that. So I don't want to mess it up. And he's got into about the worst position viewable. Well, I should say unviewable <laughs> in the world. He's gone into a little dip near the river. Now will they come back up? I don't know whether to wait or go left. So I've got the stayer. I think that's how you pronounce it. Someone's telling me about how you should say it. I think it's stayer. You should pronounce it. SG1. Um, brilliant rifle. We took our five star mule deer with it the other day. So I'm going to try it on the white tail. If we get a shot. I'm not going to risk like. A running shot on this I do not want to mess it up as I said this is the first five star white that I've seen so I do want to nail it I'm hoping he, he comes over the ridge and just looks at me if we don't move we shouldn't spook it I don't think anyway you will see in a minute. <laughs> I do like to show what's and all in my way to hunt the videos if I mess them up I mess them up if I make the shot I make the shot I try not to edit uh, the way the hunt uh, videos at all, really. I like you just to see the raw hunt. I hope they don't just stop there. Because if we do, we're going to have to go to our left or something and try and get a shot. But I think if we move, we will spook them about how close they are. All the are just starting to come up. Right, we'll just wait here. I wasn't sure if they just follow the river. Because uh, it's sort of like a ledge, if you know this area. And it goes all the way around like a basin. Now that's what I want. I want him to just pop up like that so we can get a broadside shot quick enough and take him down. Just want to see his flank, his broadside for about a second or two and that's good enough. It's not a hard shot, it's just whether he spooks or not. Anyone that knows where the hunter is, anything under 200 metres and uh, they're normally ready to go So if you make a mistake. And you can see what we're at. We're sort of like under 100 meters now. But we're not going to move now. There's no point in moving. Because I think all we'll do is spook them. So just a case of the five star white tailed deer popping his head up and getting a shot at the flank or the front. I thought that was him then. <laughs> we see the grey silver come up. I thought he's a bit quick. Where is he? not gone by why is it always the biggest ones that are the trickiest ones <laughs> maybe that's why they are the biggest ones I love how all the rest of the packs are like straight by and he's like nope where are you come on oh there he is so down so down oh my this is just getting worse and worse <laughs> all right now we have got to move. I'm left second to see him through this bush. I don't want to move much. He's so close. Oh my, I can't even see him properly now. Ron is proper sweating on this one. I don't normally, I'm not normally like this, but this has got me anxious a bit. Right. He's at the riverbed. In the worst position possible. Now, we could Texas heart shot him, but I'm not risking doing that on a five-star whitetail. I love how I just get a Windows notification pop straight up. I had Shadow Play doing it earlier. Really tried to test me today. Come on. Turn round. Oh, he's turning. Come on, turn round. I love how that one's just lying down now. Is he going to lie down? He is. Not ideal. I don't like shooting animals lying down because in case you get a weird hitbox or something goes wrong. But here goes. That should be good. We'll know any second soon. He is running but I can't see how he's uh, not going to go down from that. But what an epic hunt. 
this is one of the main reasons why I play Way the Hunter and why I love it so much is I just get so involved in the hunts. It doesn't have to be a five star, even though it's very nice and he is dad. But even a one star animal, you can go on epic hunts and uh, that's what it's all about. It's about just the hunting for me in Way the Hunter. That's my sole sort of main objective in it and just enjoy that jumping for joy. <laughs> if you only could see what was going off in the background. I've got cars outside beeping. I've got dogs next door barking. I had shadow play popping up earlier. Um, so I didn't know if it was recording properly. Then I've had a window notification keep popping up. <laughs> and the hunt of the same trying to keep it all together and get a fire start. Ooh. And that's why you should never run up on a deer in real life either when you think you've downed it. You always wait. Which is another realistic trait. Um, they've added in Way the Hunter. Should always wait a while just to make sure it's dead. But it got back up then and ran off again. But yeah, I do love Way the Hunter uh, for the realism aspect and how engrossing it is when you're hunting. So here we go. Our first five star white tailed deer. I've really enjoyed this hunt. It's not landed in the best place. I hope um, in later times in the future that the devs can implement some kind of uh, trophy shot mode. Uh, we can position the animals in good positions. Like this is an epic trophy, uh, but I can't really see it very well. It's because of like we're just going into sort of like a, a thunderstorm. Uh, rain's coming in so it's gone all dark dingy so you can't see with the light in even though i can change it it'd be nice to have really good light in um optimal light in uh, put your animals in positions like the hunter class it's got um add that and um it would be a great addition let me know what you think about that in the comments would you like trophy shot posers in way the hunter so let's look at the details so it was a nice clean shot. As said, I don't like shooting animals when they're lying down. You can get all kinds of oddities, um, but that's the shot we had to take. It wasn't a very hard shot. Nice clean lung shot. As you can see, Steyr SG1. Look at its genetics. This is a big boy. This is a monster white tail deer. So our first five star white tail deer. Let's have a look at his rack. What a rack. That is a monster. Imagine getting that in real life. So there you go. There's Ron McTube's first five-star white-tailed deer on Way the Hunter. What an absolute monster. Um, with those genetics, look at that. He is going to score very high. As you can see, the Steyr SG-1 loses hardly any meat on the white-tailed deer. And as I thought, 495 out of 100. So he was a very big five-star white-tailed deer. So let's have a look at him in the trophy lodge. I can't wait to show you the next video I've got lined up. We're at Diamond Drill and it's five-star season. Let's just put it that way. But you won't want to miss it. So I've already mounted him. I'm going to show you what he looks like. I've moved my five-star mule deer and I thought we'd stick him here in his location. You'll understand why when you see the next video. But there you go. My first five-star white-tailed deer hunt and succeeded on Way the Hunter. Really enjoyed that. That's one of my favourite hunts I've had on Way the Hunter since it's come out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Ramit Tube. We've got our first five-star white-tailed deer of Way the Hunter. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.